is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe action figure playset review for you guys and it is on the wwe mattel reckon slambulance mobile looking freaking sick as hell because this thing looks like a beast man it's big i got figures for comparison we're gonna put some guys up in there we're gonna show you all the features we're gonna do a full in-depth review we're gonna compare it to the wrecking slam mobile that we got i think last year was it or, or a couple years ago or a year and a half ago or something like that I do believe this will be available at Target and Walmart very, very soon. I actually got mine off Amazon, so if you guys were wondering, I'll put a link in the description if it's still in stock. It may not be in stock. It may be out of order or on back order or something, but I will put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. But I am super excited to get this thing started, man. I, ever since they revealed this thing at, what was that? Was it New York Toy Fair, I think, or something like that? I don't remember where they showed it off, but ever since then, I've been ecstatic to pick this thing up. It's got a lot of features. It looks like it has a ton of stuff going on with it. I can't wait to break it out of the packaging, get some usage out of it, put it in the pick fed, do all the good things that we're going to do. This is the second vehicle that we have gotten from Mattel, and I do think we have a third vehicle with that slamming motorcycle or, or wrecking motorcycle that we're going to be getting coming soon. Maybe we'll know more once we get to San Diego Comic-Con or Comic-Con at home and we see exactly what they're going to be bringing us. But as you guys can see from the packaging on the front viewing window, you do have the ambulance here. The front of the ambulance does stick out of the front. Wrecking Slambulance here, you got all your product action and stuff like that going on. In the back of the packaging, it does say Wreck and Slambulance, another image of it there. On the back, it says break the vehicle and your opponents. Press to launch gurney so you can press the tag and the gurney will fly out of the back. Braun Strowman flipping the Slambulance because would you expect anything else? For some reason, Undertaker standing on top of this stretcher. Like, yeah, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand on the stretcher. I'm going to stand on the stretcher to throw the door at Roman Reigns because that just makes all the logic. I mean, that's WWE logic for you right there, Brad. But anyways, guys, that is the full packaging right there for the Slambulance. So let's go ahead and crack this slambulance out of its slambulance packaging. Alright guys, so here's the slambulance out of the packaging, and out of the packaging you can see here it does have the hole in the back, and it's got another thing on the other side for like a hole for something else, and I think everything that you need to assemble the ambulance does come in this bag right here, and it has stickers and all kinds of stuff in here, so we are going to make sure that we get all this unraveled and stuff so that we can find out exactly what this thing's come with. So it does come with a red stretcher, and this is the same stretcher that we got with the Elite 52 Braun Strowman, except a little bit different. It looks like the stabilizers or whatever under here the little support beams are in silver and the stretcher itself is in red and it does have a seat belt right here or a, a buckle or whatever the hell you want to call this where you can strap down the people and you just kind of undo it right here on the side and then you can port that in on the side there to strap down the person and right there so there you can you can actually strap people down to it which is really cool I like that inside here you get some other things get rid of the plastic baggie on this side you have a couple sides I think these are the lockers that go on the other side of the ambulance which I'll show you guys here in a second. But there are the two little locker doors. We have some stickers that we will apply uh, soon. We have the sidewall, so this right here would plug in right here, and I think you just port that in. And voila, bushka. So there you go. You can actually spear people out of the side or straight through it. And then if we flip the ambulance around right here, here is what I was talking about. You have your little locker room doors. And I think this one goes like this. And then the other one goes on this side. And you just port this in right here. And I guess you can... I don't I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know what the feature is of that. I guess I'll have to just... Oh, okay. So does it go like that? I don't know. I'm going to have to read the instructions on that because that ain't making no sense to me, Brad. Or maybe you just break them off and then hit people with it. I'm not sure. I don't think they're supposed to be operational. I think you just, like, tear these off and then beat the shit out of the people with them. But I don't know about that. Anyways, you guys can see here it does come with headlights, taillights, and WWE logos. I guess you can slap that on the side right here, or you can put Slambulance on the front, uh, maybe up here or in the back, maybe. But anyways, I'm not going to worry about the stickers right now. I don't want a WWE logo on there. I want the MDT logo on that hoe. You know what I'm saying. I want to put the MDT logo on there because this is going to be the MDT ambulance. And if you guys want some details of the truck, it's actually pretty, I mean, it's not heavy. It's kind of, uh, it's not hollow like the pink car that we saw. We will do some comparison shots of different WWE action figure vehicles that I have used in the past. But uh, if you guys were wondering, these doors are operational. They go open really nice. You actually have some interior stuff in here. It's in black, so it's kind of difficult to see right there. Jesus Christ. But the doors are operational. I have my trusty sidekick, John Cena, 
right here and we're going to see if this hoe will fit in there and see how well it fits in the figure so that we know. This is my Super Showdown attire fix up John Cena. So we're just going to sit him down in the car right there and he can sit up perfectly like that and you can shut the door and that's what he looks like in there if you guys can see that. I think that works out pretty good. Kind of wish it came with medics, you know, like some medic figures. I think that'd be really badassery because to make medic figures is kind of difficult. Like we don't have doctors and stuff like that, which I guess wouldn't make sense, but for pick fetters and, and stuff like that, I think it would create the realism. You got your trusty windshield right here. You have the WWE logo on the grill. Nice silver dry brushing paint going on right there. Wrecking one right there. This is where the button presses. That button is, of course, where you will plug the stretcher into the back of the ambulance, and when you press that, it will launch the gurney out. So you can actually play around with that and see how you like that, you know. The other door is operational. You got steel steps right here. Also, the hood does break away, so you know you can get slammed onto this. I wonder if this pops off. I'm sure it does. Okay, yes, it does pop off. Okay, it doesn't pop off, but it does come detached. You guys can see this little black cord right here. You guys can see under there, there's a little black cord right there where that circle is that is holding that in. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to cut that. I don't think you would, but maybe you are supposed to. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna break it or anything like that, but that is cool that the hood is breakaway. Not only is the hood breakaway, you also have this side panel right here where you can actually, can you go through it this way? Okay, so you can't go through that way. You cannot punch through this. The only way you can punch through that is if you go through the top here. So you have the top portion where you can actually get slammed through there. And we will do this at the end of the video. I'll choke someone slam through there. But you, you punch through this and they can go all the way in. And this can actually push all the way in. And this can break off. If you guys were wondering, the roof can pop off. But you guys can see here that is into the back part, the back carriage thing. And then when this is out of here, you can actually push that out like that. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that you can actually rip the roof off. You can rip the sides off and stuff like that. I wish this would go all the way down though. It seemed like when this was here, this would not go all the way down. It might. It may have just been stuck on something, but it's going to be dumb if the one side's like stuck up like this and then the other side's caved all the way in when I want to choke someone, you know, right through the top of the ambulance like, uh, you know, like Undertaker or, or any of those different moments that we have had. John Cena with AA or something. This is a really good shot so you guys can see that there actually is some things going on in the back. You got like monitors and you got some medical equipment and stuff. There's actually nothing there that's just a sticker, but it is cool that they actually paid attention to some details so you guys can get in there. Spinning it around, which is where all the money is made, I think, with the ambulance, is the back doors. You guys can see here it says Slambulance WWE. There is no glass here. I kind of low-key wish there was some glass here because it'd be more realistic, but you can open this up and that is where you load the gurney. You guys can see there on the back wall you get some more stuff going going on in there so you can get all your details any shots maybe that, that's why we need doctor figures man I need to make some medics or something but getting this stuff out of the way so I can move the John Brown ambulance but I want to test this uh, this gurney thing real quick so I'm going to move this back a little bit this thing's pretty big man I mean it, it's pretty big we'll do a little size comparison here in a second but pushing this forward and then taking our stretcher and loading this thing up into the back you just push it on up in there like that it locks into place and then what you would do is you would reach forward and press the oh my god in heaven so that's loaded in there. This will actually fall right out. So you can actually lock that that piece in there, the launcher. You can lock that in place and then place this in here. And I don't think you even need the gurney or the stretcher to even operate it. So you just press this button and it launches right out, which is really cool. I'll give you guys a second angle of it so you guys can see exactly how it comes out from a side angle view. So you press the front license plate. And out comes the John Brown thing. It may not have been in there all the way, but that's really sick. So yeah, man, that's pretty awesome. I, I'm digging this playset already. I love the ambulance. I love any vehicles that we get, but here is a size comparison if you guys want to see the different sizes. So first up, we do have John Cena, which is just your average Mattel figure right up next to it. I think it's pretty, you know, it's not completely scalable. I think it's uh, it maybe a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be, but you know, it still looks pretty good. I think it works out perfectly. Next up, we do have Seth freaking Rollins. So we have the Monday Night Messiah. Here's what the Monday Night Messiah looks up next to it. Up next, we do have The Fiend. So here is what The Fiend looks like. If you guys were wondering what The Fiend would look like up next to the ambulance. And then for our final size comparison, actually, I'll probably get Rey Mysterio too. Here is the Universal Champion Braun Strowman. So you guys can kind of get a look at that and see exactly how the Universal Champion, the Monster Among Men, the Monster Express, or whatever the hell they're calling him nowadays, that is what he looks like up next to the ambulance as well. So you guys can see if you want to flip that over or whatever. There you go. And then our final size comparison here 
here is Rey Mysterio. So there you go. Looks pretty good up next to Rey Mysterio. You guys saw what John Cena looked like in there. And I will spin it around so you guys can see how many people can fit in the back. Maybe we can get some guys in here and see what's going on. So if you wanted to put somebody in there, I honestly know you cannot just stand up back there. So you guys can see you cannot stand up back there. If you were to stand up, the only way maybe is to remove that piece, but I don't even think that's possible. You cannot stand up back there. The roof would totally hit the fiend on the head. But if you wanted to sit down, there is a little piece back here, like a little seat. I'm going to see if maybe you can sit down back here and see what that looks like. So I guess that works a little bit. If you wanted a shot in there, you wanted somebody getting some medical treatment or something, I guess that would work a little bit. If you wanted to put some guys back there and then putting somebody on the stretcher. I want to put somebody on this stretcher and I want to see what they look like through there. So putting Cena on the stretcher and then it would go across his waist, I guess, because it's not letting me go over his arms. So it'd go over the waist and then it would buckle down here. And there you go. Cena's buckled in and he's not going anywhere. So it actually holds on to him pretty good. That's pretty important to see. So there's John Cena on that. And then if we were to put this in the back so you guys can see what that looks like in the back right there. There's a little side view and you guys can see up in there. It's looking pretty good. And then we launch him out of there. And it didn't even work. And there he goes right into the floor. So here's a comparison between the Wreckin' Slammobile and the Wreckin' Slambulance. You guys can see on the side here, the car is actually much smaller than the ambulance. So look at that right there, bro. That ambulance is massive compared to the car, especially in person. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it's like three, three or four inches longer than it, and I would say it's probably uh, a couple inches wider as well. You guys can see the roof of the ambulance isn't connected all the way, god dang. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that in a second. But I, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it, man. I think it's really, really sick. Again, it will be available at Target and Walmart very soon. It is available on Amazon, I'm sure. So I will leave a link in the description. I think it's $35. It's either $39.99 or $34.99, but I think it is completely worth it. It doesn't come with any figures, which actually is kind of upsetting. I would have liked to seen some figures, maybe a basic or, or something, even a doctor figure or a medic figure or, or something. I don't know. I don't really know what you could do about that, but I have a, uh, a ton of things planned for. I think it's a really sick playset. Again, I think we can get some cool things out of it. I like all the details. I like the colors with it. The tires I like. They made the tires like a matte color so they actually look like tires. I'll probably paint these wheels, like the actual black part right here in the middle silver because it makes it look a lot more cartoony and uh, it kind of makes it not look authentic. It, it kind of looks cheap or something so I am going to paint this silver and I think that'll bring a lot more life to the piece and I may add some other things to it so it actually looks a lot better. One thing I definitely want to do, though, is I do want to slam somebody through the roof. So we are going to do that because I want to see what that looks like. One thing that is weird about it, though, is I don't know why they made this piece right here where you can come out of it because it's really hard to, like, get figures in there and push them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be really hard to do a spot or a pick fed or anything from this angle where somebody would come through there. I guess they're just thinking, you know, you can just, like, push people through it or something like that. But I would have liked to have seen, uh, you know, a way for it to go in. Um, but. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do like a spot right here with somebody getting slammed through the through the roof. Oh my God, Brett Undertaker's got Roman Reigns on top of the ambulance. He's going to load him up for a choke slam and he's going right through the top of the ambulance. Running back. Oh my God, Brett Roman Reigns is coming down right through the roof of the ambulance. Oh my God, Brett Roman Reigns is coming down. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty sick. I like that. And then it crumbles on top of them. That's pretty dope. I like that. But overall, I really do enjoy the ambulance. I think it's a really great play set. It should be, again, hitting soon. Very, very soon. Check your targets. Check your Walmarts. I think you can get a lot of playability out of it. It's got a lot of functions to it. You can pull the doors off, I think. No? Yes. I think you can pull the hood out, but it had that cord, and I don't want to F it up. You can't pull the bumper off like you could the other slamming mobile. But on the other slamming mobile, you can't throw them through the roof of the car. You don't get the back, you know, you don't get the back area right here with the double doors. You don't get the gurney. You don't 
get a collapsible roof. You don't get the little side panel right here where it blows out the side. So, I mean, this ambulance has a ton of playability and a ton of replay value because you can do all kinds of things. If you're a pick fetter, you know, you like to play with your toys, you like to play with your figures, you like cool setups and cool displays or just, you know, I mean, I recommend this to anybody. Highly recommend it for any collector across the WWE figure spectrum. Doesn't matter, man. This thing's awesome. And don't forget about your separate gurney slash stretcher that it comes with on wheels that you can, you know, roll people off cliffs with. But anyways, guys, I had a ton of fun reviewing this thing. I think it's really great. I highly recommend you pick this Slambulance up. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and comment down below what you think of the Slambulance. What kind of usage do you think I can get out of it on MDT? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.